Jim Nolte, who's representing the uh, fans of Superman. We have much to be thankful for today. First, I want to thank the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors, especially Supervisor Michael Antonovich, for providing this opportunity for us to publicly pay tribute to the adventures of Superman and to all of those involved in its history and production on this, its 50th anniversary. In these past five decades, many words have been written and spoken regarding the sets, special effects, and other technical facets that are woven into the fabric of this early and special television series. To its fans, they're all top-notch, for if not, we wouldn't, in fact, be assembled here today. But my remarks will not center around the technical aspects of the show. While they're important indeed, we didn't travel from across the country and halfway around the world to pay tribute to nails and wood, paper mache walls, or superimposed film. We're here to honor something much more valuable, the people behind those special effects, and the writers, the producers, the directors, the entire crew. We're here to honor people, the people who gave their time and wonderful talent always in support of each other, to produce a show worthy of this tribute. And we're also here to say special thank you to Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster, the two young men to whom we're indebted for creating the Superman character. I feel today like I've come to the end of a long journey. Like so many others, I first watched The Adventures of Superman when I was a child. But the images, dialogue, music, and the faces of these wonderful people involved stayed with me through my adult years. Why? Because what they did was good. It was good and it had meaning to me and many others. I'd like to read a note I received from a reader of my website just before I left for Los Angeles on Sunday. Helen Kielkoff of Louisville, Kentucky wrote, how I wish I could be with you for Superman week and to shake the hands of those who gave so much joy in our youth. There could not have been a better cast. Not only do we feel we had the best friend in George Reeves whose loss we still feel, but our outlook on life was positively influenced by John Hamilton's kindly bluster, Jack Larson's earnest enthusiasm, Noel Neal's determination, and the good and dutiful Robert Shane. And we continue to recognize a long list of dear guest stars who gave remarkable performances. Two of them, Jeff Corey and Robert Rockwell, will stand beside you on Tuesday. When times are rough, I sometimes take out an episode to be cheered by such good company. They remain alive with us, always in our hearts, always in our lives. Very often we question the value of our existence. Have we done anything to make the world a better place? For a lucky few, there are special moments when they know they've accomplished great deeds. For most of us, however, although we accomplish much, our deeds, large and small, go uncelebrated, sometimes even unnoticed. Most likely, when the people involved in Superman went about their daily business, they thought of it just as a job. As Jack so often says, they told him, no one will probably ever see this. I'm here to tell you now, Jack, and everyone else, especially George Reeves, that what you did those many years ago was indeed seen. It was noticed, it is remembered, and it's valued. And so today, July 10th, 2001, on behalf of the fans of the Adventures of Superman from around the world, I salute you now. Thank you for your generous contribution to our lives. Thank you all. Thank you.